Hey there guys, Tom here. Welcome back to my movie channel. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have not been here before, hit that subscribe button and do yourself a favor, ring that notifications bell so that you and your friends never miss out on my take on all things movies. Before we get started today, I just wanted to take a moment, just a very, very brief moment, to say something very special to a very certain special somebody in my life, someone who has meant a lot to me in recent years and who is probably watching this video right now and is very appropriately named uh, considering what this video is about and you can see her and I right here. So this is something I haven't said to her in a while and I really just want her to know how I feel about her. So excuse me for a second while I just deliver this heartfelt message. <clears throat> Shut up, Meg. Alright, so the Meg stars Jason Statham, a giant shark, and a bunch of other people. And I'll be honest, when I walked in to see the Meg, I wasn't expecting much at all. You know, some people are really digging this movie, other people are not digging this movie. This movie truly is, and it really did feel like a throwback to like, the. this film belongs in the 1990s, or the early 2000s, like, straight up. That's where this movie belongs. The movie feels like it's from that time. And that's not really a negative on the Meg. It's just the way the movie's constructed and the way it plays out. It does feel like it belongs in the 90s. And, and there are some good movies to come out of the 90s and the 2000s, but this movie does feel like a movie from that era. Now, I wanted to get into talking about Jason Statham and his character in this film because Unlike, say, Vin Diesel in Fast and Furious, where you feel like these action movies and these action stars and their characters especially are invincible and nothing can hurt them, there's a slight difference with the Meg and Jason Statham's character. His character, I felt like, wasn't invincible, like he wasn't a superhuman, you know? He could actually be hurt and he was vulnerable. And the character actually had some depth to him. They actually wrote the Jason Statham character, not like amazingly well, but pretty well. He is the best written character in the movie. And he does have some emotional things that he's working through throughout the film and some things that, you know, hold him back at certain times from being the hero and some other things that help him also to be the hero. Now the supporting cast for the most part, a lot of them are unnecessary and are just there to be there and throw one-liners out here and there and you know that's a bit of a negative on the film for me but there's this little girl in the movie and she stole the show. Aside from Jason Statham and the giant shark, this girl stole the show. She just, she had some really, really funny moments, man. Like, some really, really funny moments. That's the thing about this movie. Like, nothing in this movie really felt forced. Like, this movie has moments of, like, genuine good moments of heart and humor and emotion. Like, there are a couple of quite emotional scenes in this film, and I got my, my, that. And I found myself getting a little choked up. Now, I cannot review the Meg and not talk about the Meg, the giant shark. So let's get into the shark in this film. I loved it. I love the shark in this movie. It's awesome. The scenes where the shark's attacking the boat or the, our characters are fighting the shark, like, those scenes are awesome. The entire third act, I really, really enjoyed. I actually think the third act probably is the best part about this film. Like, it's the best act of the movie. But as I said earlier, you know, the, the supporting cast, a lot of them felt like they didn't need to be there. And there are a few members of that supporting cast, man, that clearly are not great actors. Like, all their dialogue just felt really flat and not believable at all. But you do have a, a good lead in Jason Statham and a couple of really good supporting cast members, which helps to balance out the few support other supporting cast members that weren't sort of giving it everything or just aren't that good of an actor to start with. So listen, there really isn't that much more I can say about the Meg. Like, the, the movie does deliver on what the trailers and the title and the marketing of the movie promise. You know, it's a giant shark movie starring Jason Statham. You do get what you pay for and you do get what you're expecting when you walk in to see the Meg. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Remember, hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you and your friends never miss out on my take on all things movies. My name is Tom, and I will see you guys next time.